Assalamu alaikum. Welcome all to Easy Human Mentor channel. In this video, I discuss about monocoanic diametric twin pregnancy. It is a type of twin pregnancy where each twin has its own amniotic sac, but both share one chorion. This is uterus. This is chorion. Two amnion. Two fetus and single placenta. And monocornic diametric twin pregnancy result from the fertilization of one ovum by the one sperm. The resulting zygote form a blastocyst which contain two inner cell mass but single outer cell mass. Single outer cell mass form a single chorionic sac, a single placenta but two inner cell mass produce two yolk sac and two amniotic sac. This figure explains the all twin pregnancy, how dichoronic diametric twin pregnancy is formed. It is seen in both monozygotic twin pregnancy and dizygotic twin pregnancy. What is monozygotic twin pregnancy? When a single ovum is fertilized by the single sperm, this is and this zygote is split in the early part of the development and produce two blastocysts. This type of twin pregnancy is known as the monozygotic twin pregnancy. And two blastocysts produce two coronic sac and two placenta and two inner cell mass produce two yolk sac and two amnion. In dizygotic twin pregnancy, what happened? Two separate ovum is fertilized by the two separate sperm. So two zygote is formed, two plus separate blastocysts, and two separate blastocysts is formed, two coronic sac, two placenta, two amnion, and two yolk sac. How the monocornic diameter twin pregnancy is occur when zygote uh, is mitotically divided and they produce single blastocysts but two inner cell mass. Two inner cell mass is well uh, produced two amnion two yolk sac cavity. So it is produced monocorinic diamnetic twin pregnancy. How monocorinic monoamnetic twin pregnancy is formed? Here the single blastocyst is formed and two inner cell mass. Two inner cell mass is close enough. So it is produced single amnion and single yolk sac. What happened in conjoint twin? In conjoint twin, two inner cell mass is formed but they are partially separated. So what happened? Part of the fetus is attached and it is always produced single amnion and single yolk sac. Sonographic feature of first trimester. This is dichoronic diamnetic twin pregnancy. You see that there is a two gestational sac surrounded by bright ecosonic area. This bright ecosonic area due to chorion. And these two are the gestational sac. The sonographic feature of the monochoronic diamnetic twin pregnancy here single gestational sac is seen and it is surrounded by the bright ecosonic area chorion single chorion and within the gestational sac these are the two yolk sac cavity. So these are the difference between dichoronic diamnetic twin pregnancy and monochoronic diamnetic twin pregnancy. In dichoronic twin pregnancy, two gestational sac is seen. In monochoronic diametric twin pregnancy, single gestational sac is formed. And it is surrounded by a bright ecosonic area, single chorion. The ultrasonographic features in first trimester, in the later part of the first trimester, this sign is present, the intertwin membrane, which is much thinner, it is less than 2 millimeter. 
So this is a single gestational sac, two fetus, uh, the amnion, and it's one chorion. So this is the intertwin membrane. It is very thin. It's less than two millimeter. This is the diachoronic diamnetic twin pregnancy. You see, this is the intertwin membrane. It is also known as the twin peak sign or lambda sign. Here, this intertwin membrane is brightly echogenic due to the presence of chorion. So, this is one chorion, this is another chorion, this is fetus, and this is amnion. So, this is the difference between monochorionic twin pregnancy and dichorionic twin pregnancy. You see, the intertwin membrane, it is thin. It is thick and brightly echogenic. In second trimester, what happened? Uh, this is the monochorionic diamnetic twin pregnancy, single placenta, T sign or intertwin membrane, thin intertwin membrane, and two fetus. Thin intertwin membrane. The complication of monochoronic diamnetic twin pregnancy, twin twin transfusion syndrome, twin embolization syndrome, twin reverse arterial percussion sequence. Demise of one twin, one twin get less nutrition, so the growth of the one twin is hamper and placental insertion abnormality. Velamentous inter insertion, marginal insertion, and some abnormal anastomosis seen, arterial arterial anastomosis between two blood vessels of two fetus, veno venous anastomosis and artery venous anastomosis. Artery arterial and veno venous anastomosis are superficial and bidirectional blood flow is seen but the arterial venous anastomosis uh, form at deep capillary level and with insured cotyledon and allow only unidirectional blood flow you see there is a red blue red blue it's indicate the bidirectional flow of blood bidirectional flow of blood it is arterial arterial or venovenous anastomosis the placental insertion related abnormality may occur in monochronic diametric twin pregnancy this is complete placenta previa partial marginal and low lying placental previa. So this is all about monochromatic diametric twin pregnancy. If you like this video please press the like button and please subscribe my channel.